Hi, this is Georgia from Hatha Equus, and today I want to show you a typical, if you can ever say typical, as far as intrinsic is concerned, but a, a typical uh, intrinsic session with my Mustang Sombra. Uh, we had this session uh, roughly a year ago, uh, so that would be February 2022. This was, I believe, the first time that I ever introduced the soccer ball to her. It was really fun. It was uh, quite a cold and cloudy day. This is Sombra's type of weather where her play drive is usually at its maximum levels. So here's the beginning. Now to be said also, Sombra knew already the concept of following and, and pushing with her nose and touching with her feet the big ball. This was just the first time I used a smaller ball, a soccer ball in this case. Um, also a reminder that whenever we have purely intrinsic sessions, then my goal is, uh, or my hope more like, is to inspire a new movement with as much variability as I can with respect to our usual, mm, we try to keep our usual very varied uh, as well, but um, you know, introducing a new tool has that, uh, has that goal in particular. The soundest movement is the never truly repeated the same movement now science tells us now sombra um i am very proud of how deeply she can use her seeking system these days and how connected she can be also you should know about her that uh, her uh, flight instincts or her freeze instincts in, in other words her survival instincts are very hardwired in her so sometimes you're going to see her freeze and stare into the horizon wondering if um wondering if there's a stimulus she needs to pay attention to in order to make a judgment call whether to fly away or um or fight something or or just stay frozen you know um and i hope that by watching what i do about it uh, maybe you can forgive your horse too, if they are just horses, if you will, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> and um, and also acknowledge that a liberty session. Um, I mean, it's amazing when you get that horse that has such a long and deep attention span to focus focus on you the whole time with no exception. Uh, for horses like Sombra, it takes it takes years uh, to get to that length and depth of attention span. And when I look at look back at videos like this one, I feel such a huge sense of pride. Um, yeah, since sh her brain is just constantly evaluating every single stimulus that comes to it. These in this sequence here are movements that I had never seen her do. When you think about movements she hasn't done before, I mean, she's cantering, great, she has cantered before, but watch the sequence of lead changes cross-firing with a head down in the arched neck, uh, and here with a, with a head toss a little bit, and the last little bit with, <laughs> did you see that? the last little bit with the lifting of the front legs, right? It was almost a very initial seat of a canter pirouette, uh, if we want to kind of exaggerate on the on the dressage side. So moments like these, uh, you can hear my voice and my enthusiasm to celebrate them big time. Uh, now speaking of, um, of new movement, uh, I had an idea to maybe use the ball and throw it in the air as opposed to um, rolling it, which, for instance, with a bigger ball, I cannot do uh, because it's too heavy. So 
that was my first, my initial attempt to to see how do you feel, Sombra, about this? Um, and you're going to see me develop this concept throughout the session. Now you can see, you know, thinking about new movements, this sort of stop. But did you see how she gathered herself up just for a slight second? That's very difficult for her. She's a very downhill horse. And um, at this point, I believe in the second part of our session that we're going to release separately, you're going to see a rear that was not normal. Now it's very normal. She, we basically have a rear on cue and it's one of her favorite tricks. Uh, but she, this was, these are the seeds and they're completely autonomous and self-organized and, and thought independently, you know, the seeds of that lifting through the withers and collection, if you will, if we want to take it to, you know, one day, if it might be ever, completed in a classical sense, which I'm still not sure that I'm interested in, but I'll think about it. <clears throat> so this is a freeze moment. You can see her look at the herd that's out there and try to make an evaluation. Should I stay or should I go? Um, she's in taking it all in moment right now. I just wait. I try to orient my belly button elsewhere because she has already enough um, stress, if you will, from the situation she's looking at. And uh, when I can, I try not to look, but to use my ears. And when I do look, it's a very soft gaze. And it's, um, in a way, I, I hope that she'll reconnect, but I try to... Um, I try to leave my expectations uh, as... Um, unpressuring maybe it's not a word as possible it took a close by invitation uh, to unfreeze her from that moment and notice I mean let's look at it again it was unbelievable notice what amazing movement it has unlocked in her this one also I had maybe seen before Gosh, yeah, maybe once. It's almost it's almost a spin, spinny sort of speed mo movement um, when she tries to both strike and kick at the ball. Um, see, first her forehand went kind of toward it, and then she thought to kick it. Uh, this was the I think it was the prequel of another session where she offered the first big spin at liberty self-organized with a with a windsock it um it was unbelievable very often there's a very a very tiny moment right after right after either a freeze or a safety evaluation that bears so much movement and passion potential uh, maybe because of the hormones that just went on, like, should I steer, should I go? I think I might be activating my sympathetic nervous system, but be on hold, you know? And then all of a sudden they decide not to, but that little activation was there. And so uh, it's it's very interesting to watch it as a, as a pattern in a way. Oh, one of our favorite photographers, Nora, joined this session. Anyway. See me talk to her a second. I was just inviting her to stay safe is all. And here the session starts again this time and just hold the ball. Here was another very interesting one. I threw the ball and she 
cared with a bend toward me. I don't know if she thought that I still had the ball in my hands or if throwing it in the air possibly um, made her avoid it a bit. She's still unsure. Obviously, it was the first time that I just randomly threw stuff in the air uh, in a play session uh, or at least the ball. And notice what what sort of movement that uh, that activated. It was beautiful. And one more time in a way, but this time it wasn't as um, as collected, if you will. <laughs> Truly the, the fact that she's summoning so much energy and that she's been very connected so far the whole time, apart from that couple... Um, a um, couple moments where she was not, uh, where she was in freeze mode. <laughs> so notice, notice here, I was going to say, you know, I'm just celebrating it big time, especially knowing that she has all the autonomy in, in the world. And remember, I only have hay pellets in my treat pouch. I don't have anything stronger, at least, at least not now, um, not in this moment, at, you know, in specific sessions for very different reasons I might have them but uh, not in the circumstance so she's really making a choice and a conscious decision to to be with the movement to be with me and so on uh, it feels amazing now this is a moment where she misunderstands me uh, and I want to show you how safely and quickly I tell her no thank you that's not what I meant please keep your front legs uh, elsewhere not in my space okay so she tries to, um, she loads her hind end and does, let's say, a half rear or a, or a mini quarter rollback. And I say, oh, oh, not here. And here she is. She stops immediately. Her energy goes down. And I immediately send her back to the ball. Moment of freeze. She looks up. Now I wonder if... <laughs> If uh, sending the ball toward her, if we're there, there's only one way to try it. Uh, I just kick it up and toward her. Um, this horse is very resilient at this point. We we have spent a lot of time together and had many adventure to get adventures together. I feel confident enough to do this and know in my heart that if she's at all spooked by being thrown a ball, uh, which she probably would have been some time ago, uh, she will just use her autonomy and leave, right? In this case, my dog Arya just entered the, entered the arena at full speed and energy, and she probably didn't expect it because she was in her blind spot, and so she had this slight moment of uh, flight. You can see it here when she arches her back as she, as she runs and then immediately finds the ball again. Uh, and has a little bit of suspension in that trot because she's already starting to to think uh, to kick it uh, and to to step on it with her front feet, which is amazing. Uh, Sombra's trot is otherwise quite messy. Um, it's um, it's rare that she has a suspended trot or a lengthened trot or anything um, anything uh, even remotely collected. So. Um, this this work, you know, creating the the chaos and the the uh, the fertile environment for connection that we try to create when we play um, in the intrinsic framework uh, helps her a lot to have ideas um, completely autonomous and independent ideas about how else can I use my body. Um, it's so easy to get stuck in habit. Um, sure, herd life is incredible for this because every interaction with a horse especially she has some very playful friends too uh will create some degree of difference but remember too sometimes the movements that they will let's say perform in pasture they don't necessarily know that they're allowed to perform them in our presence sometimes they just doubt that they should or that they could especially with a rider on um we've been introducing riding very slowly uh with sombra since since the beginning uh and she still is in the process um as of this day uh of 
uh, of translating her lifting through the withers and, and carrying herself and a potential weight on her a bit more efficiently without sinking uh, through her spine. So uh, this, this work is incredibly important for her. Um, thank you for watching. Let us know if you have questions. And uh, we'll see you in the next video for the continuation of this session. Bye.